matter is, uh, now these vets are uh, examples of what uh, is in store for our country in the future. Uh, each one of these folks you know, volunteered, they served with distinction, they're dealing with uh, uh, the wounds of war, they're recovering nicely, they serve as mentors for others, and they're going to be the leaders. Uh, when old guys like me move off the stage, I'm thrilled to be with them. Uh, a little nervous about what they think of their paintings. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I guess what it is. Painting these vets uh, was a fantastic experience for me. Um, as you know, I'm a fledgling artist. I'm learning to paint. And one of the things that I think is important about expressing yourself through paint is to, uh, in my case, think about their stories. I, I know them all. I've, I've done sports with them. I've visited with them. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think about Will, the chopper pilot. Uh, he was, uh, he's used mountain biking to help him recover. He went to Chile and rode uh, probably the toughest trail in the world. And then he comes down to the ranch, which is not the toughest trail in the world. <laughs> Smokes me. That means he rides a lot faster. <laughs> Rob and I have ridden bikes. Johnny and I have played golf together. Ryan and I have played golf together. And uh, hanging out with these vets is uh, uplifting. Uh, the purpose of continuing to draw attention to the vets is to remind our fellow citizens that uh, we've got to honor their service. And the best way to honor their service is not to feel sorry for them, because they certainly don't have any self pity but to support programs that work. And uh, one of the things we've discovered is that when a, a vet coming out of Iraq or Afghanistan's got a problem, if he were to touch base with one of these four, they can help them understand uh, what they'll be going through and can help direct them to programs that work. And so uh, this, is, this is a chance to honor and to help you uh, help bridge the divide between the military and civilians. And if you really uh, think about it, uh, you know, the vet comes out of uh, out of the military and he goes to apply for work or she applies for work and, you know, there, there's a language barrier. And they ask, uh, you know, somebody, what's your skill set? And he said, I'm a sniper. <laughs> I don't think we need to hire a sniper this year. <laughs> <laughs> but if that person were to say, I'm disciplined, I'm a team player, I understand personal responsibility, I understand sacrifice, and all of a sudden, boy, that's the kind of person we want to hire. And so at the Bush Center, that's what we're doing. The whole purpose of this exhibit is to call attention to these programs. And as I say, pay honor to these uh, extraordinary Americans. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming. Uh, be glad to walk around with you. Yeah, show you some.